Hey everyone, it's Suzanne, and I want to thank you for joining us for our So Susie podcast, where we'll be exploring and demystifying some of the crafting world's greatest mysteries. You will also be able to get the show notes and the links we reference by visiting us at www.sosusiepodcast.com. Welcome back to week two of our planner series. Every week during the month of June, we are going to be bringing you a new interview with someone from the planning industry to tell us a bit about their planners, what they use, the benefits they receive, and give us a few tips for using their style. Today, we have Helen Colebrook from Journal with Purpose, who has an incredible blog, Instagram feed, and Pinterest page dedicated to bullet journaling. This is one of those planners that I seriously wanted to get into a couple of years ago after I saw my girlfriend, Chris Silvetta, take a picture of hers and post it on Instagram. But at the time, I was balancing so much that I felt that there was no way I could fully enjoy all it had to offer. As I was researching for the planner series, I came across an Instagram feed for a lady who was coloring images in her bullet journal. And she had this cute little flap on her daily layout that I was totally intrigued by. I scrolled through her feed and row after row of bullet journaling pages captivated my attention. I clicked on the link she had for her blog and fell in love. I went into creepy podcast stalker mode, read her posts about us page, checked out her Pinterest board, and followed her everywhere. What I fell in love with when it came to Helen's pages were the creative simplicity of them. Sure, she had some that were a bit more intense than others, but when I saw them, I wasn't intimidated. I was like, I could totally use this journal. It could work for me. When my creative juices really started flowing and I was like, I could do some faux watercoloring in my bullet journal with my Stamps by Judith stamps and Tombow markers. I could practice my brush lettering because Kelly said it was a great way to practice. I could plan my days and weeks and keep my notes. The list just came pouring out of my brain. The one thing that kept repeating itself as I was in total stalker mode was, I must have Helen on the show. She has to share her words of bullet journaling wisdom and inspiration with the rest of us. I need to be able to tell Chris that I am finally doing this. So I zipped off a less creepy email than I was feeling to Miss Helen and was ecstatic when she replied back that she would join us on the show to talk about bullet journaling. Helen, thank you so much for being a part of our planner series. Thank you so much for inviting me on. Now, what exactly is a bullet journal and what makes it so appealing to use? So bullet journal, in essence, is a planning system that you can use to organize any part of your life and keep track of events. And it was set up by Ryder Carroll, and he runs the um, bullet journal website, which is bulletjournal.com. And I was initially drawn to it because of its simplicity. And it's really appealing to me because I can use it in any way I want. So I've used um, some pre-printed planners in the past. But because my days are so different, how much space I need every day and how much time I've got to write in it every day is completely different. So that made it really appealing to me that if I had loads of time, I could do a massive full page spread for the day. I could decorate it, watercolor, as you say, use brush pens, writing, anything I wanted. Or if I'm out in meetings and I just have time to write a couple of lines, that's absolutely fine. I don't have loads of blank space. The next day I can just kind of pick up where I left off the previous day. How often do you journal and what got you started? And so I journal every day. It's the way I kind of relax in the evening, I guess, is I sit down, I look through my to-do list for that day, check off everything that's got done and then migrate everything over to the next day. And it makes me kind of feel peaceful because I know I can go to bed thinking that everything's written down. I haven't forgotten anything. But I got started when I was actually looking into doing more regular types of journaling. I've always thought it'd be nice to have a book that kind of captured everything that was going on in my life. But I didn't really want to write, I guess, like a dear diary type entries where I'd just write what had happened in my day. And when I was looking on Instagram and Pinterest, every time I typed in journal, I kept seeing loads of pictures of beautiful bullet journal pages. And that really appealed because I thought, well, I already have to write to-do lists and I want a way of documenting what's going on in my life. And it seemed a perfect way, really, to be able to combine the two 
and just have something really nice to be able to look back on, but also to really get me organized and start thinking about how I plan each day. You had a fabulous blog post on how to use your bullet journal to get more things accomplished. Can you give us a rundown about your system and why you feel it works? Yeah, sure. Um, One of the things I do really differently now in my bullet journal to how I used to plan is I separate out different categories of my life. So I've got all my work tasks, the things I've got to get done, things I need to do around the home and for my daughter. But I also make sure I plan in things now that are just for me and also kind of creative projects, things that I really want to work on and develop. So I think I was always really reactive before. I'd just write down the things, perhaps the latest emails, things that people really needed from me. But now I sit and plan out things that I want to do. And I try and allot time slots to different tasks, how long I think things will take me to make sure that I'm being a bit more realistic about how I spend my time and make sure I give some focus to things that are really important to me. I've also used my bullet journal system to think about longer term goals, what I want to get out of life, where I'd like to be progressing. So I really use it to plan out all of those different areas of my life as well. And I found that really, really helped me. And also because I can make it creative, I can make it pretty. It's a system that I want to use. It's not a chore for me to sit and do a to-do list because I can sit there and maybe just do the little something that's happened throughout the day. So it encourages me to use it. And I think I've probably got more done in the last year since I've used the bullet journal system than I have probably at any at any other time in my life. You have this, this super cool little flap. And I, I think you, you have a term for it. <laughs> And like, this is like my favorite part about your journal. (laughs) It's really quite sad. What is it? (laughs) It's called a tipping card. So I literally get, I used to use some old Project Life cards. And in fact, I'm still using those. But I often now decorate one side of it. So I put some gesso on and paint it, stamp it, anything I, I want to put on it. I wash it onto the side of my page and I write my goals for the week. And that means that I can leave it open whilst I'm working through all the other pages in my journal so that when all sorts of things happen and try and distract me, I can just quickly look at what is it I actually wanted to get done this week. And I started using them a few months ago and I I love having them in there, partly because it encourages me to be creative and decorate the card, but also it just provides me lots of focus during the week of what I actually wanted to get done. And it's brilliant because you do like the, the I guess it'd be two pages essentially, but it's like, you know, the, the left side and the right side for your, your daily, like your to do's, what's going on. And with your tip it page, it, it just kind of flaps open past the bullet journal. So when you're turning your pages, you can always see it. Now, do you use it almost like a, I guess, a bookmark, if you will? Because <laughs> you could, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely, because I can be working on lots of different pages, depending on how much I've got going on. If I just write down the things I want to get done, and then five pages later, I get to the end of the week and go back and look, I'll think, crikey, I'd forgotten that all those things I'd actually wanted to get done this week. If you leave it open, it marks where you are, and you can see it all the time, so it makes it really it's much easier just to stay focused on it but you could use those things for anything sometimes if I run out of space or if I want to add a photo something that's happened or some notes I'll stick those on as well that is brilliant I that really truly like I am enamored of it I that I think is like the most exciting piece that I love about your bullet journal (laughs) (laughs) now last year you came up with a remarkable idea of creating a traveling bullet journal How did you come up? How did this come about? Where has it been? Where is it now? And what plans do you have once it comes back home? Well, I saw there's a lady on Instagram, Trina at Ninja Traveling, and she was sending um, a regular journal all around the world so that people could write some pages and she was having it sent back to her so that her sons could read about the different entries and learn about different parts of the world. And I thought that was brilliant it made me start thinking about the bullet journal community because if you look on instagram or pinterest you'll notice that there's a huge variety of styles people that stay very very true to the original bullet journal system and people that have expanded it 
in all sorts of ways and use it for all number of different things. And I thought it would be a really fun idea to send one bullet journal all around the world where everybody completes just two pages of it and then sends it on to the next person. So I put the idea out there on Instagram and fortunately loads of people said that they'd love to take part. So far, it's been um, all around the UK. It's been to Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Germany, and it's in the Netherlands at the moment. It's going to come back to me for filming next week, and then it's going to go for its first trip over to the States. And Ryder Carroll, the founder of Bullet Journals, kindly agreed to complete the last two pages of the Bullet Journal. And then when it comes back to me the last time, I'm going to scan it in as a free ebook on my blog so that everybody can download it and see all the different styles. And then I'm hoping to auction it off for charity. Loads of people have said they'd be interested. So hopefully that'll be a really nice end for the Bullet Journal. As a fun end of our show, we do a fun fact segment that is all about you and your favorites. What is your favorite pen to use in your bullet journal? My favorite go-to pen is my Staedtler pigment liner, and that's mainly because I love adding watercolor onto my bullet journal pages. And if I've used that, I can add anything over it and it stands up to anything I spill on it as well. So that's definitely my favorite. And what is your favorite thing to decorate your bullet journal with? Um, I use lots of things. I do lots of doodling, but I also stamp, use loads of washi tapes and also planner stickers as well. What is your favorite use for your bullet journal? Because you have, how many different bullet journals do you have in, in your notebook? Is it three or four? <laughs> yeah, I've got um, three in there at the moment. Um my favorite is probably each month I have two pages that are devoted to one's a gratitude log and one's my memories pages. So every night I sit and write three or four things that I'm really happy about. Particularly if I've had a not so great day, I make myself think about things that I'm really, really happy to have in my life, positive things that are going on. And in the memories pages, I'll just keep track of, it could be like funny conversations I've had with friends, um, perhaps how my daughter's doing at school if she's got some exam results back. I get sent quite a lot of happy mail and I love to record that in there. So they're probably some of my favorite pages to look back on because even a couple of months ago, I can't remember things. But if I look back at those journals, I think, oh yeah, that was so nice that they happened. So in amongst all the planning pages, I like to have just some of those like special moments written down as well. What would you recommend as far as for using markers or highlighters in your bullet journal? I mean, is, is, is the paper, is it thick? I mean, can you use any kind of marker? Is there ones that are better than others to use? Um, it will depend on which book, because you can use any book really for bullet journaling. Some people use plain, lined. The majority of people use dotted. And depending on which brand you go for, the paper quality can be significantly different. The first thing I do on the back of any of my bullet journal pages is I turn to the last page and I get out all of my pens and do a quick pen test. Tombow brush pens always seem to work really well. I don't have any issues with those. I don't have any problems with um, watercolor on it. I mean, I use um, a Rodia dotted book and it holds up to just about everything. The only pens that I've had problems with have been Sharpies because they just seem to bleed through anything. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good to know. So I need to get out my Tombos, which I, I have a whole bunch of that I don't use very often. So this is going to be fabulous. Now, where can people go <laughs> to learn more about Journal with Purpose? find inspiration and see where the traveling journal is now. I still have a blog, which is www.journalwithpurpose.co.uk. And on there, I've got my regular blog posts. And I've also got a page devoted to the Traveling Bullet Journal, where you can see all of the latest pages that have been completed. And I've linked that back to everybody's Instagram accounts as well. Um, I also use Instagram a lot. I try and post something every day. And I'm on there as Journal With Purpose. And I also have a YouTube channel under my name of Helen Colbrook. Helen, thank you so much for being on the show today and sharing with us your passion for bullet journaling. For those of you who currently use a bullet journal, please share with us your bullet journal stories in the show notes. Or if you're considering trying one, let us know. And I'll be sharing pages from mine throughout the week on our Instagram and Facebook page. And until next time... This is Suzanne, and you have been listening to the So Suzy Podcast. Happy stamping!